we have talked in the past about teams like Coleraine that have struggled uh, under Oren Kearney and uh, they've kept faith with him and uh, they've been proven to be correct to keep faith with him because he always was a quality manager. Now the players are beginning to deliver. Again, yeah. Again, he's working on a quite restricted budget down there. Uh, and what I like about Coleraine at the moment under the Oren Kearney uh, leadership, they have introduced a lot of local lads uh, that I know from around that area. That's always good for generating interest among the fans as well. If you want to keep the fans interested, as you can remember back when we had the good old team at Coleraine in the 70s, an awful lot of that team consisted of players. Like steady from... That's a long, long way away, that one. Now, you know, <laughs> I mean, black and white TV. I know stage, that. You know? Oh, I know that. And, and uh, flared trousers and all the rest of it. Uh, but you remember it as well as I do. But an awful lot of that Korean team consisted of local players, and there was a great general interest among the locals. And then we lost that for a while. Uh, and Oren has got that back again. There's at least half a dozen players in the Korean first team at the minute who are a stone's throw from the showgrounds in Korean. That always generates interest. And I honestly do think that when you get local lads playing for their local team, uh, there's an identity back with the club. And, and he's got that. Uh, introducing a lot of youth as well, bringing them through nicely. So, yeah, I see progress at Korean and, and that pleases me because I'm a country man and I love to see the country teams doing well. Uh, but you look at the Crusaders and the Linfields, it's obviously we're a wee bit away yet, but we're not that far away.